Hello and welcome everybody again. Um, so I'm going to go through uh, how to set up a CCNA security lab. Um, this is the ideal lab uh, for you to set up um, for your studies on CCNA security. So I'm actually doing my CCNA security now uh, and I found that I could do most of my work on the GNS3 except for the switching. Um, you need probably need a couple of real switches for that but uh, you could even do the switching on this as well but I would probably recommend that you do that on the real switch but uh, as far as the routers and ASA and and the PCs and everything concerned you can simulate all of this on your on your PC um, so I've got a, a quite a powerful um, desktop which is a Pentium i7 16 gig of RAM so it's a quad core processor and I've got um, virtual machines using um, virtual box so I've got um, just quickly show you that. So I've got three XP machines running on here. So that's one, two, and three. So um, basically, I've got VirtualBox here, where I've got three identical Windows XP machines running, um, and they'll 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 form the the three PCs down the bottom here. And I'm going to use GNS3 basic layer two switches for those three switches in the middle. And then you've got three routers, R1, R2, and R3, and then an ASA firewall. So if you look at my previous videos, I'll show you how to install GNS3, and it shows you how to put a router in and a, an ASA firewall. So if we bring up our GNS3 here, um, so we've got a blank canvas here. So if we look at the router, so we pick up, pick up a router, put that in, pick up another router, and then pick up another router. So we've got three routers. Um, let's get a... PIX firewall, so sorry, an ASA firewall, PIX is gone now, sorry. Uh, and then we'll get some hosts as well, so that's where my virtual box is going to connect into. Two and three. Um, and then we'll get some switches, so basic Ethernet switches. One, two, and three. So let's close that up and let's just arrange this in a better manner. So we've got router one there, router two there. Route to three, put the ASA there in the middle, put a switch there, let's bring that down a little bit. Right, so if you look at my virtual box, I'll just quickly show you something. Um, if you look at the settings uh, and the um, uh, network settings, so this is for my Windows XP3 machine and I've got that connected to as a as a host only adapter so that allows you to change IP addresses um, different p different IP addresses on the device and that's connected to my virtual adapter 3 so similarly I've got the Windows XP if I look at the settings on that and the network so my second Windows XP machine is connected to host adapter 2 again set up as host only uh, and the final the, the, the third one which is um, XP1. If you look at the network again, so that's connected to host only the Ethernet adapter for virtual box. Um, that is actually adapter one. I don't know why they didn't label it one, but there you go. So all, all of my um, three Windows XPs are booted up and running. Um, so they're all connected up. So we're just going to grab hold of this and we connect all the C uh, the routers up first. Uh, connect that to that and the serial. Connect that serial one to serial one zero there. We've got a fast Ethernet zero zero on that to the ASA, um, and then uh, Ethernet two to there, and Ethernet one to there. Just double check on my configuration. Yep, that's fine. All right, uh, and then we're going to connect that fast Ethernet that switch and now we're going to connect the hosts up so I'm just going to relabel these um, so th these are these are actually my um, host devices my XP's um, and then so I'm just gonna rename them all right uh, XP1 I'll rename this one as well second XP I should have called it XP2, but never mind. And then this one, and this is XP3. Okay, so they're all connected up. So Windows XP1, 
um, so we just connect that up so as soon as you click on it you can see that you all the different adapters available so there's your virtual box one that's my machine one and that goes to that switch that one is my virtual machine two and that goes to the second interface and then this one is my virtual machine three nice. so they're all connected up ready to go let's put some um, labels on there interface labels so just tidy that up a little bit let's bring that up here bring that up here okay so all my connections are done and you can see all the all the interfaces are labeled up ready to go um so we'll we'll start all the devices up so you can start them up one by one by um clicking on here and saying start so that individually starts it or you can just press this green button and it starts the whole lot um, you need to be a bit careful obviously it depends on your PC and how much processing power you've got um, don't forget that your your virtual machines are running as well and that causes uh, your CPU to go up as well one thing one thing I did do on on, on the virtual box was uh, I limited the memory to one gig on all of them so although I've got 16 gigs of memory I limited it to one one gig because it's just a basic test PC, so you don't need anything special on there. Okay, um, so we'll start all the devices up, so they're all kicked off, and then press this button to console into all of them. So there you go, they're all kicked off, and you got Super Putty there. So routers are booting up: router one, router two, router three, and the ASA all coming up. So I think. That one's already booted up. Router two, that's ready. And router three is also ready. ASA is still booting up. That normally takes a little bit longer, so um, we'll let that carry on. But I can put some config on here now. Um, so looking back, at, I've got the IP addressing schema already on my diagram here. Um, so I'm going to configure all these interfaces according to this IP addressing schema. So router one uh, so what I've done is I've prepared a little script for all, all the interfaces so there's router one uh, copy that go on to here okay okay that's up so we're going to do router two And router two. Oops. Helps if you do conf t. Trying to do things too quickly. Okay, that's router two done. Router three. I got a little typo, typo there, so we'll just do that one again. Okay, so the, all the interfaces are up on the routers. Yep, and yep, so they're all up as well. So go back to the diagram, just see what we're doing. So we've got all the routers configured. I've just got to configure the ASA. The PC is already pre-configured. I'll just quickly show you that. Um, so. This is my XP1, so that's set up for 192.168.2.3 with the default gateway 2.1, which is here. And then my XP2 is 192.168.1.3, uh, and the default gateway is 192.168.1.1. And then the last one, Windows XP3, is 172.16.3.3 at the default gateway 3.1. One important thing to remember is if you've got virtual machines running, make sure you turn your firewalls off um, because when you start doing testing and pinging and stuff, you'll find that it fails. Okay, so make sure you 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 turn the the firewall off. Okay, so I've I've already done it on this one, but just put that there as a reminder. Okay, so all the XPs are ready, all the uh, routers are ready. We just need to configure the firewall. So let's put that in as well. So enable, 
show interface IP brief conf t ask for later and just grab the config for that as well okay so they're all configured so just make sure the interfaces are all up yep they're all up so we're we're ready to begin testing now okay so if I bring the diagram back up we'll start off from the PC here on the on this side so we've got uh, Windows XP 1 should be able to ping the firewall interface 2.1 okay so okay so if I bring up that XP 1 machine and here we go and then we just do a ping test 192.168.2.1 it's pinging nicely and lovely so if we go back to the um, ASA and we'll do a, a ping the other way so yep that's successful okay so the next thing we're going to test is uh, the inside interface here so the, from the firewall inside interface to Windows XP2 192.168.1.3 okay so if I bring up my um, Windows XP2 that's my Windows XP2 that's pinging away lovely so we'll just do a reverse ping from the ASA yep that pings nicely as well bring my diagram back up so we've tested the DMZ the outside sorry the inside uh, we just now test the outside that's the 209 so from the um, the router back to the firewall okay so this is the ASA so we'll bring it from the ASA and change that to a 5 yep that pings nicely uh, and that should be pinging router 1 interface so we'll just do it from here as well Yep, so that's successful. So, so, so far we've tested the fire, all the firewall interfaces. Um, these two PCs, we're going to work our way around. So I've done it up to the, the router. So now from router 1 to router 2. So router 1 is 10.1.1.1. So we just ping. And the other end is dot .2. And that's successful. Go back to router 2. And there it is. So just do a ping backwards again. Yeah, all successful. And the last one is um, from the from a serial uh, the, from that serial, so router two to router three. So I'll just do a quick ping. Dot one. Yep. And then from router three, we do a ping back to that one. That's fine. And then the last one, we need to ping the PC. And that's dot three. Okay, and that's successful as well. So we'll just do a quick final check from the um, Windows XP machine as well. Yep, and that's pinging successfully. So there you have it, guys. I um, hope you enjoyed that. I uh, hope you found that useful. And uh, if you did find that useful, please give us a thumbs up and uh, subscribe if you're interested. So this is my uh, CCNA security lab, which is all built on GNS3 um, using a powerful Windows um, 8.1. I've got win Windows 8 on this running on this um, Dell, Dell PC. Um, so please look out for my other videos. I'm going to be doing some security labs where I'm going to be building secure tunnels, IPsec tunnels and all sorts of stuff. So I um, hope you found that useful. Thank you very much for listening. Cheers.